Hello viewers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am Onya Chukumeze, the anchor of this channel. This very moment, ladies and gentlemen, I want to testify more of something I have always told us in this very platform. I have always told do, uh, the people of Biafra, that is the southeastern region part of Nigeria, that the government, people in government in that southeastern region part of Nigeria, are uh, actually the root cause of the insecurity that is going on in the southeast. But when I say it, some people who know the truth, they believe, and some who are ignorant, they don't believe. So for this reason, I have come to give you another Ubunga news, classified, unclassified news, mm -hmm. so that you will believe that actually it is people who are in government. It is those southeasterners in government that are actually helping to orchestrate the crimes that is going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Now, I want you to understand that the IPOB have identified causes of insecurity in southeast Nigeria. November 5, 2024, news by Sahara reporters. IPOB charged politicians in the region to attack the root cause of insecurity in the region, adding that the problem is known to all and sundry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is to let you know that the politicians of the South Easterners are actually the perpetrators. They are actually the people who are masterminding, supporting all this insecurity that is going on in Nigeria. Simply because they don't support the movement of Biafra as a result of what they are benefiting from Nigerian government. For their own selfish interests, I believe they have chosen to betray their own land. Anyway, let me continue. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has called on politicians in Southeast Nigeria to end insecurity in the region and desist from political witch hunts, mutual recriminalization, recriminations, and backbiting. Of course, I call it backbiting like I have always said that uh, there is no way a rat outside could know that there is a rat inside a house to come and eat. It is an inside rat that we go and tell the rat outside that there is fish in the house for them to go and eat. In other words, it is to say that it is the southeastern politicians that are, are sponsoring all this insecurity going on in the south region simply because they don't like IPOB, they don't like Biafra because of their selfish interests as politicians, you know? Anyway, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me continue. In a statement issued on Tuesday by It Media and Publicity, Emmanuel Powerful, IPOB charged politicians in the region to attack the root cause of insecurity in the region, adding that the problem is known to all and sundry. It doesn't require a complex analytical brain to understand that the continued illegal incarceration of Mazze Namdekano chronic youth unemployment and the shoot to kill and ask questions later policy of Nigeria security agents are the main issues propelling insecurity in the southeast. The IPOB spokesman said. He added, we propose that all hands must be on deck to minimize this trend and secure the region before the enemies of our people will leverage this trend to complete the Holocaust they started in 1966. The restiveness being witnessed in the southeast is primarily due to the activities of government-sponsored criminals. If this were not the case, what is stopping southeast governors from honoring their pledge to visit President Tunubu to seek the release of Maze Namdekano? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if truly it is not true that these southeastern politicians are the orchestrators, the people agitating, backbiting or sabotaging against the Afrika movement, why are they finding it difficult to honor the pledge they make to go and visit President Tinubu to seek the release of Maze Namdekano? Why? If truly they are not the one orchestrating. They should do it. It's a very simple thing. Smart and as governors or wherever you are, politician, you know, you have access to the president. Go and tell him, let him know that it is illegal to continue to detain this man. After knowing he is a uh, crimeless, there is no evidence against him. Your court have declared him free, discharged and acquitted. Yet you people continue holding him under captive. That it is illegal. You people have the constitutional right. You have the power as politicians as well. So what is keeping you people? 
if not that you people are actually the orchestrators, the people doing everything possible to make sure that the movement of Biafra or the freedom of Biafra is being sabotaged and does not come. But one thing is sure, what is meant to be is meant to be. You understand me? Nothing can stop it. The movement of Biafra, the coming of Biafra, the freedom of Biafra is just like uh, the movement, uh, the movement of nature. You know you can never stop nature. Anyone who tries to stop nature, we at the end get eluded by the nature. Because nature is something that is more powerful than any man. I continue. Powerful noted that South East governors know that the release of Kano will bring the activities of criminal elements in the region to an abrupt end. He said, South East governors forum must be brave enough to tell the public why they have to desire why they have no desire to work collectively towards bringing to an end the criminals' activities of these well-known individuals. South East was once known, both internationally and locally, as the most peaceful and safest region in Nigeria, until ethnic hatred propelled the last administration to launch successive murderous incautious into successive to launch successive murderous incursions into our land starting from the Mpo massacre of 2016 to Operation Python Dance that claimed thousands of lives. He urged Southeast. Ladies and gentlemen, before I continue, let me say something to this very part of I just read. That before, the Southeast was one of the most calmest, coolest places recognized internationally and uh, locally in Nigeria. It is one of the safest and coolest places in Nigeria, recognized internationally and locally. But since 2016, when the federal government of uh, Muhammadu Buhari, the, during the regime of Buha Muhammadu Buhari in 2016, when they caused the massacre at the uh, and in 2000, and the, the operation of Python dance and that claimed thousands of lives, that was when this whole insecurity started and all to date the southeast eastern region of nigeria has been suffering from insecurity he urged southeast politicians to wake up and stop sponsoring armed political talks in the region in the hope of discrediting the activities of FIPUB. yes in this very aspect distinguished ladies and gentlemen no doubt these politicians are sponsoring all these armed political talks in the region just for them to discredit the activities of the IPUB. That one is very certain. And every well-meaning Nigerian and every freedom fighter, any justice lover understand this. And you can never end underestimate this particular phrase that says, he urged out his politicians to wake up and stop sponsoring armed political talks in the region in the hope of discrediting the activities of IPUB. You were one in the cause of discrediting the a movement. You are causing so many deaths of innocent people, causing massacre. This is just like war. Because even in countries where there are no war, people are not being massacred. The, in the way the people are being massacred in the southeast by these political talks, these political sponsored talks in the southeast region. We are demanding that the political bickering among Indigo should stop so that we can all work together to separate the common criminals from legitimate agitators, he adds. Yes, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I believe you all have heard this article from Sahara Reporters as reported by the Media Publicity Personnel Secretary of IPUB, Emma Powerful. So ladies and gentlemen, this is actually one of the reasons the insecurity in southeastern part of Nigeria has not ceased because it is being orchestrated by the political elite in the southeast. If the insider has no hand in this insecurity going on, I believe the, uh, this insecurity must have ended a long time ago. But well, now my question is, what does these people benefit from, you know, killing their own people? Masterminding the massacre, the ugly situation of their people, subjecting for people who hardly eat two square meal a day, you are still subjecting them into more hardship, subjecting them to insecurity, whereby all of them need to hold their lives on their palm because any time can be their six o'clock. This is very bad. So please, the Southeastern politicians, I am indulging on, on all of you to please do the needful and stop sponsoring all these political talks who are criminalizing the Southeastern part of Nigeria if you are doing it. Okay, 
because it will do new people no good at the end of the day new people are from south east you are from south east nothing can stop the movement of biafra the freedom of biafra and if it comes to be now new people who are alive how would you feel how would you want people who fought for the freedom of biafra to treat you people these are the kind of things you people are supposed to be thinking think twice before you continue your uh, evil acts okay against your people so that is it distinguished ladies and gentlemen i remain on meze the anchor of this very channel bendon tv do where to support this channel in any way you can ladies and gentlemen i love you all all good freedom fighters the people of biafra and everyone that love justice we all are blessed